Hello! My name is Sara and this is Mr. Phil, my friend. We're going to teach you today how to sketch a portrait and how to um, do the proportion of a face. Um, Hi everyone! Hello! So, um, what you need today is your sheet of paper and your drawing material is basically a pen or a pencil and an eraser. If you have a picture of yourself or a friend or someone that you want to draw, it would really come in handy. Okay, so I'm going to show you on this picture how the human face works. Basically, we think, m many people think that it's a circle, but it's actually an oval. So when you see it's an oval here... Sora, yeah. is my head oval? <laughs> no. I think your face is pretty circular with a trunk coming out of it. Your face is pretty different than human face. Aww. But you can draw an elephant face. You just don't have to follow human face proportions because you're an elephant. Okay. Good. So basically after you draw the oval, what you're going to do is draw a line right through the face, a line vertically, which is going to be a line coming through the nose. And there's going to be a um, line horizontally, which is going to be right where um, your eyes are going to sit down. And it's going to be right uh, in middle of the oval. So it's going to divide it into two in the halfway. And um, then we're going to divide each of the halves into quarters. So basically divide them into two equal parts. And then what the upper quarter uh, lines tells us is that it's the line that um, the hairline grows so that's where your hair starts to um, grow and that's where you should start drawing the hair and here the uh, the lower quarter line is where it's right in between our nose and our lips it's right here and then another way to divide the face is into um, one thirds so basically the one third, the upper one third of the face is where your eye, the upper line is where your eyebrows sit and the uh, lower one is where your tip of your nose sits. In terms of um, vertical uh, dimensions, our face is basically di uh, divided into five equal sections and each section is equal to the width of our eye. So basically each face is five eyes, that's how we say it. Sara, yeah? it seems like there is a lot of math in drawing. Of course it is. Human face is full of math. Wow, I got a 95 in math when I was in high school. Good for you. The basic rule for drawing the lips is that usually the lips generally go from middle of each eye. That's how wide the lips are. Well, generally each person is different, but uh, in the general face that is the um, that the whole proportion is based on it, it goes from the middle of the eye and that's how um, wide the mouth is and the um, proportion of the mouth is equal to the length of the nose so it, it kind of goes like a triangle and then in terms of the ears everyone thinks ears are really high up well again it depends really on each person but generally ears come from where your eyes are from this part and then they come down until where your mouth are uh, so between where your lip line is so that's where your ears usually end again if each person is different but that's the general rule Sara yeah I have big ears yes you do I think your ear covers your whole face so it doesn't go from your eye to your lips it goes from the head top of your head to the bottom of your head all right, I will keep that in mind when yes, I'm drawing. Yes, you should keep that in mind. Let's actually start drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an oval. And then I'm going to divide it into halves, both vertically and horizontally. Those are my half lines. And... Again, I'm going to divide that, as I said, into quarters. So, in terms of 
Now I'm gonna divide it into five eyes. So based on this picture, I'm gonna kind of eyeball how white the eye is in terms of the face and mark it down on how white it is and then draw the lines and divide the whole face into five eyes. So basically this is where the eyes are gonna lay down as I'm gonna draw them just to show you. And now we're gonna divide the face into one quart, one one thirds. So the one the first bottom third line is where the tip of the nose is gonna sit down. And the bottom quarter line was right between the nose and the lip. So that's how we know where the lip is going to sit down. And we continue coming down based on this picture that how far from the eye the lip is going. So basically from the eyeball. Let me draw the lip. After we draw, we basically figure out where to put all the features of the face, like the eyes, the nose, and the lips. Oh, I almost forgot the eyebrows. And that would be the bottom, the top one third line. And they usually come from where the nose comes and comes right after the eye, like comes over the eye. And each person's eyebrow is different. And then that bot, the top quarter line is where the hair is gonna grow. So now you just kind of sketch out where, how the hair is. And the ear is coming right from the middle line of the eye and it's coming down to the midline of and it ends right midline of the lips. Now that we have our general outline, we can go into more detail and figure out the shape of the face in terms of the chin, how pointy it is or how wide it is. and go into more details of the lines above the eye creases and the eyeball. And the thing about eyes is that there is always a highlight in the eye that, and that's what makes the eye come alive. Even in a sketch, when you don't draw the highlight in the eye, you don't get it. You don't make, it doesn't make, make it feel real. You have to draw the highlight. And usually the neck, it comes right almost from your ears. So when you see it, it actually comes from your ears. So it's quite thick when you think about it. And people think that it's really thin. They want to show it thin and they draw it thin, but it's not. So what you have to do is look at the picture and kind of follow the ear and come down. And that's how you get a sketch of a face. The basic sketch of a face. So, did you learn anything, Mr. Phil? I learned how to draw human faces. Thank you, Sara. If Thank you. I had more flexible hands, I would clap for you. Thank you. Well, let's see what you drew. Oh, amazing! Well, I'm gonna clap for you! And thanks for watching! Thanks for watching, everyone! Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.